is Daniela and I work here at the Environmental Education Center at Veterans Oasis Park. I'm going to show you guys how to make Easter egg geodes today in celebration of Easter. A geode is a spherical or round rock that looks pretty plain on the outside, but in fact when this is cracked open it's full of crystals from different types of minerals that have been deposited over the years. Um, so basically what happens is there's a hollow cavity inside a rock and then lots of different types of minerals get deposited into it and that's why you have different colors like amethyst and quartz that we're able to see today. So first we're going to go over the supplies that you need. You're going to need some boiling water, a cup, and then you'll need borax, which is a cleaning solution that can, can be found at the store. But if you don't have borax, you can use Epsom salt too an oven mitt or something to protect you from the hot water. Make sure you have an adult around when you're making this craft. We're gonna need one tablespoon, so you can probably find that in your kitchen or a spoon will work as well, but this is the one we're using to measure the borax with. We're gonna need food coloring. We're gonna add some to our hot water so that we can have colored crystals come out at the end of our craft. And then next you just need some Easter eggs left over from last year, or you can use real eggshells. You just have to have an adult help you crack them open. And then we're going to need some glue, any glue works. This is gonna be used to coat the Easter eggs with. And then you'll also need a paintbrush to help you coat them, but you could probably use a popsicle stick or anything else if you don't have a paintbrush at home. And then here is just the rest of our borax that we've poured out. This is not in a specific measurement. This is just to coat the eggs that are going to eventually look like this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is create a super saturated solution, which is basically just our borax mixed with our hot boiling water. So for this part, I want you guys to ask your parents for help because we don't want anybody to get hurt or burn themselves or have any accidents. So once you've poured the hot water into your cup or your parent has, we're gonna add our borax solution to this. So we're going to take our measuring spoon, we're using a tablespoon, and we're going to add three tablespoons to your one cup of water, okay? All right, so now we're going to mix our hot water and the borax, and we're gonna do this for probably a a minute or 30 seconds. We just want to make sure that all of the borax that is in there is stirred up enough so that it's broken up and we're going to be able to use it later. We're going to go ahead and let this sit. And while the solution cools down, because remember we use really, really hot water, we're going to let that cool down a little bit. But before we get started to prep our eggs, um, if you want to do something fun, you can add food coloring to the solution. I'm just going to add a couple of drops. So stir this together and then go ahead and let that sit. So while our solution is cooling off, we are going to prepare our Easter eggs for the craft. So first, what you're going to do is take your Elmer's glue and a paintbrush. We're going to dip our paintbrush into the glue, and then, this is the fun part, we're gonna coat our eggs with glue. And if you've ever seen a geode before, it is a hollow rock that's got crystals inside of it. So to get lots of crystals in here, we really wanna add a lot of glue, even on the outside, to make it look like the crystals have just sort of popped up all over our geode. You can use as much glue as you want. There's no right or wrong way of doing this, but when you think it's ready, you can go ahead and mix it into the borax uh, in our next bowl. So we're gonna take this, you can use your hands, you can just roll it around, but what you wanna do is get all of your Easter egg completely coated. And why this is important is because when we do add our Easter egg, to the solution we created, it's going to help the rest of the borax crystals attach in there 
Once we coat our eggs with the borax solution, we want to let that glue and borax set for at least 30 to 45 minutes before you actually add it into your solution. Now we prepped these uh, the day before, so these are actually all ready to go and be put into our solution. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But we go ahead and dip these into the jar. You can use lots of different objects to go ahead and put it into the solution. I found a chopstick here that we're gonna use, but you can use a pipe cleaner, you can use a popsicle stick. But what you really want is to make sure that your Easter egg is completely underneath the water so that you're able to get more crystals in there to grow. So now is the waiting part. We have to leave our Easter eggs in the solution for, we recommend overnight or for the whole day because you'll have better results at the end. But if you absolutely can't wait, check it in about four hours and see if you've got anything growing. At the end of your experiment, all the solution we made can go directly back into the sink. That's how you're gonna dispose of it. And you're going to end up with these awesome crystal egg geos. The other fun thing you can do is once you do have your solution down and your, you kind of have the experiment down, you can add different uh, measurements of the borax to see if that gives you bigger crystals, smaller crystals. You can basically make different measurements of the solution that we made today. Um, you can try less water or more water to see if you can make lots of Easter eggs in one solution. So it's definitely an experiment where you can have lots of fun with it and then enjoy these cool crystals at the end. All right, guys, well, those are all the steps for making Easter egg geodes. We hope you have lots of fun experimenting and creating your own geodes to get you in the mood for Easter.